What's up boys, it's Cade. So the 455 Thanoses have started rolling in and uh, I thought I'd make a video now that I've had a couple days to look at all of the, uh, the info on him with kind of his stats, my thoughts, uh, early thoughts really on, on Thanos, uh, prestige numbers, how he kind of compares to the rest of the field, all that stuff because it's super exciting now that uh, they've kind of started popping up. Now, first of all, congratulations to everybody who ran 5.4 Legends and got their Thanos. Congrats to the top five. Those are big time times, especially assuming everything was done legitimately. That's that's huge. Um, and then uh, big, big, big shout out to uh, Tim12345 who sent me all this stuff online. Uh, he's always in my streams. He's always sending me the best stuff. So uh, thank you so much uh, to him for, uh, for all the info. Some of these are going to be a little more low res because they've been passed around uh, the line app and, you know, the compression on there isn't great. So pardon the, the quality, but here it is. So let's jump in. Um, we're looking at Roach Boy's profile because he's got a 455 Thanos at SIG 120 and a 455 Blade at SIG 120. So we're talking prestige first, and it looks like Thanos beats Blade in terms of prestige, which is kind of huge. Now, uh, obviously the numbers are always, you know, um, inflated by, uh, by masteries, and so the PIs, when you compare them, they're not... Uh, um, they're gonna they're gonna vary quite a bit but when you look at the profile itself they're gonna line up in terms of prestige so uh that's pretty interesting and as we kind of look at uh again there's the thanos and there's the uh the blade both at 120. when we start looking at the charts that means that thanos at sig 120 is uh top six um it'll be interesting once mutamat starts getting those numbers out to see where he actually falls on the chart and then when we start looking at sig 200 given the way the four star scales there's a good chance that he's going to be the highest prestige champ in the game uh top three top four for sure because um obviously we've we've seen how he compares to blade and he should scale more aggressively to 200 but um It'll be interesting to see if he uh, ends up at the top of the uh, top of the leaderboard. Now, some of you guys may be <laughs> math whizzes and may be able to tell just by looking at it, uh, looking at the, the charts and what you've heard about Thanos so far. But uh, for now, I'm waiting on the numbers. Um, it'll be interesting, though. It'll be nice. It would be nice, given his rarity, to kind of see him uh, be the be the top champ. At least that's uh, that's my opinion. So super high prestige. Um, next are his base stats. So the f uh, I'm going to kind of do a comparison between him and Hulk because their base stats compare um, like they're, they're, they're so, so similar. They compare very well. And so that'll give you an idea of what Thanos is all about if you don't know his abilities or uh, um, kind of what, what kind of a champ he is. So if we look at base attack is 1822, exactly the same as Hulk. This is Hulk's base, base attack. This is, again, without masteries. Uh, base health is super high, 28-4. Um, it's uh, Hulk's is 25,000. That's already super high. Um, it's higher. Uh, Thanos is higher than Ghost Rider, and he's a very high 455 uh, base health champ. Now, it looks like this one maybe has um, two in Glass Cannon, judging by the the uh, modified health, like the, the reduced health there. Whereas this Hulk is uh, one of our officers. Um, he, I think, has three in Glass Cannon, just looking at the, at the numbers. But... Uh, pretty crazy high health when it comes to uh, to Thanos. Beyond that, uh, we've got the actual stats. Now, these are the percentages. I'm going to leave this up for just a second so you get a feel for the percentages themselves, but we're going to compare flat values um, because the SIGs are all in flat values, so uh, it makes sense to do that. Um, or the abilities, rather. So this is Thanos right here. Uh, critical rating and critical damage rating, not crazy, but again, you'll see in a sec why that doesn't matter too much for a champ like him who's uh, who's so reliant on, uh, well, not reliant, but who gains so much from uh, the fury that he gets when he's attacking. Armor rating is very high, 965. Block proficiency, 1747. It's not crazy. It's not low, but uh, it's not crazy. So compared to, um, to Hulk, we see that uh, critical rating, critical damage rating are exactly the same. So again, it seems like they were built off of the same kind of uh, stats models. So it's it's kind of they're kind of low for Hulk as well because he works in very much the same way. He gains those furies. Um, armor rating for Hulk is uh, is lower because Thanos is super super tanky when it comes to his armor rating. So 579 for Hulk. Um, 965 for uh, for Thanos, and again, I'm giving you this other reference point to give you an idea. I, I kind of needed it to, to see where he kind of falls, because um, his attack was 
so high. It was like Gwenpool level, Hulk level. So I think this was a good uh, kind of comparison, like champ to to go back and forth with. Block proficiency again. Um, Thanos is is lower than than most. I don't know the most champs and most of the champs I had looked at is 455s, but it doesn't matter too much, and that's because of this. So first of all, his Sig ability automatically reduces uh, their opponent's base attack by 13%. So that's one thing. The second thing is when he's getting hit, he gets that armor up, which doubles his armor rating. An already high armor rating goes up from 965, goes up an additional 964 at whatever sig level, this is at level 20, so um, those, <coughs> excuse me, those should scale uh, with sig level. Um, and then the fury itself, right? So he already has a high ba base attack, but he gains 1002 base attack for seven seconds. Um, about every at 11 percent let's say every couple combos you would uh, you would see that fury go up um so and again those numbers scaled based on sig but uh pretty significant when we look at at hulks and again we're going to ignore hulk rage because hulk rage is a, is a game changer and that changes his attack completely but the this passive attack when he's attacked and attacking 12 percent chance to gain fury and increasing attack by 728 for six seconds very similar just less than someone like thanos gains from his fury of course when you factor in hulk rage then that changes everything because that adds an additional 1833 at this sig at 72 uh to everything which uh makes him hit like an absolute monster but uh overall it's the same kind of mechanic so critical damage and critical rating not too high for thanos but um but he has really high base attack and uh, benefits a lot from that fury just which is coming up all the time uh armor rating super high he's a super tanky character block efficiency not not crazy but again he reduces enemies attack um just automatically that's his uh, his sig ability and if he gets hit he gains that armor which doubles his armor rating uh, for an already high health pool tanky character so um those are really my uh my thoughts i just uh i wanted to kind of go over everything it's so exciting getting to see these uh these sanuses we're going to see them pop up at the top of the leaderboards uh i'm sure but uh i wanted to kind of uh look over all this stuff the thing i'm curious though is what everybody thinks do you think thanos is gonna end up having a place in the game do you think he's gonna be more of a trophy champ with the current aw meta especially it seems like there's very specialized champs uh even in aq your line clearing champs your boss killers um that that people are bringing so do you think thanos is kind of going to sit on the shelf do you think he has a, a place in the game uh, do you think he's, again, going to be more of a trophy champ? I'm really, really curious to see what you think. So let me know in the comments for sure. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it uh, useful. If you're not subbed, uh, I hope you sub. If you uh, liked it, I hope you smash the like button. It definitely, definitely helps. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care.